Hi, Brady Bender and Mitch Hall here with the final episode of Tom Hawks TV. We're here at uh, Connemont Memorial Medical Center. We're here to learn and raise awareness for organ donation. Sunday, March 23rd at the War Memorial, we'll be raising awareness for or Organ Donor Day. March 23rd, our last regular season home game is Old World. <laughs> I can't even say it. Oregon, We're going to Oregon. Oregon Donation Day. Sunday, March 23rd, down at the War Memorial, we'll be... We'll be what? I don't know what we're doing. Someone's Oregon. <laughs> Donor Day. Okay. Slow okay. it down. Sunday, March 23rd, our last regular season home game is Oregon Donation Day. We're here with Jill. She's a MedStar flight nurse. Uh, why is Oregon Donation important to you? It's important to me because not only do I take care of the patients that will maybe need a, a donation of an organ, but I've also been a recipient of an organ myself. I had a corneal transplant three years ago in my right eye. So why did you need a cor cor corneal transplant? Corneal. Well, on vacation about four years ago, um, I got an eye infection in my right eye. Um, unfortunately, I was one of those people that wore contacts all the time, which is not really recommended, and I like to make that point. Anyway, I got this infection, and I just knew that my eye hurt. So in the middle of the night, I took out my contact, and it actually ripped off three quarters of my cornea. Once uh, the doctors uh, treated the infection, your cornea is really neat in that it replenishes cells every day. Right. So it healed, but I had this huge scar right on my field of vision. So you have to wait about a year, and then you um, decide if you want to have a transplant. It may or may not take, just like any other organ. It's been uh, rewarding, and I'm very thankful who, to whomever uh, gave me my, my cornea. Yeah. But I was never able to find out who my donor was, so I pretty much treat everybody as if they had taken care of me. Wow, yeah. And because I had a, a transplant in my eye, my cornea, um, it allows me to take care of other patients because I was, I'm not sure I could have been able to do my job as a flight nurse here at Conema with only a vision in one eye. So with your job, you fly in the helicopter. Yes. What is that like? Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Everybody uh, seems thinks it's pretty cool. It's, it's, I've never been in a helicopter, so. It's loud, yeah. um, <laughs> but we get the worst of the worst uh, patients. We tend to extend from um, the care from one hospital to another. Um, we also take patients from the scene of an accident to the level one trauma center here cardiac patients, other kind of patients, um, it, it's, it's fun, it's very rewarding, and we feel that we make a difference in what we do. Okay, this is the helicopter um, helicopter helipad at Connemore Hospital in Johnstown. Um, it's really just for one helicopter. Um, we land here, we're not stationed here, we have our base um, about nine minutes away. We bring uh, patients here and we unload them uh, right to the helipad, and then we go downstairs usually to the emergency department. So it's very quick from landing, we unload hot, which means the blades are running usually to save time, mm -hmm. and then we go down the short elevator ride right to the emergency department, where the doctors are usually waiting for us. We're here with Dr. Dumeier, he's the director of trauma here at Conemaw. Uh, Dr. Dumeier, what is considered a trauma? Basically a trauma is, is pretty much any accidental injury, something that's an, an, unanticipated. Usually we're dealing with motor vehicle accidents, motorcycle accidents, falls and then accidental injury, gunshot wounds, etc. What would you consider a level one trauma? Level one trauma is a trauma center that's equipped to take care of all the needs of trauma patients. It's, it's rare, if ever, that we have to send anything out. Um, we can take care of the most severe trauma patients here. We have all the resources that, that the community depends on here. So you have a whole team of people working on the person. Uh, how, many, how many people are a part of your trauma team? Well, I mean, the, the trauma team itself is immense, you know, basically from the people who dispatch the ambulances to the nurses who bring the patients in on the helicopter. But in general, three physicians from the trauma side, two physicians from the emergency room, and three nurses are down here for every patient. And then we have the blood bank, respiratory therapy, the laboratory, and x-ray are here as well. So it's a, it's a whole host of people. We're here with Jeff from the Center for Organ Recovery and Education. What is this wall here? Uh, this is a wall that's dedicated to uh, organ tissue and eye donors here at Conemaugh Health System. Um, and it's, it was actually uh, given as part of a scholarship through the Thomas Paul Ziani Scholarship Fund. And we work together with our donor advisory committee here at the hospital um, to, to help honor the people that have given the gift of blood. 
Why is donor awareness so important? Um, donor awareness is important because there's currently over 120,000 people on the national waiting list and about 18 to 20 people die each day waiting for an organ transplant. Um, so what we're hoping to do is raise awareness uh, so that less people die on, on that waiting list. Um, we're, we're working through a hospital challenge with the Hospital Association of Pennsylvania and what we're hoping to do in partnering with the Johnstown Tomahawks is to raise awareness about organ tissue and eye donation. Uh, please stop by one of our registration tables and, and we can sign you up to register today so you can um, and someday give somebody the gift of life.